we've now created in our network or our node view two versions of our of our yarn and I'm going to go into my library of each of these pieces of yarn and I'm going to create an empty frame and basically what an empty frame is is it's something I can substitute to where there is no art and I'm going to do it for both so let me just select one of them and go down to my timeline toolbar and if you don't have your timeline toolbar just right click in this little area and choose timeline view toolbar I'm going to press create an empty drawing and you're going to see that now that that is empty and what I like to do and you can see it's empty here as well what I'd like to do is I like to rename it by pressing Control D or Command D with my arrow in the camera view. And I'm going to just call it empty. And hit OK. And now I'm going to select the other one and do the same thing. I'm going to make it. I'm going to select and make an empty drawing. Command D or Control D and do empty. And hit OK. Now they haven't disappeared. They're just temporarily turned off. I can go back and forth and turn it on and turn it off in my library view or I can hit the command bracket left or bracket right and they will switch from one place to another. Okay now go back to my node view I'll turn them both on. There they are. Now this second one that we have I'm going to take this guy's arm and I'm going to rotate it up and I'm going to add this ball of yarn inside his arm group. So I'm going to select it, control X. I'm going to find his hand by selecting his hand and pressing O in the network. And this is going to be his arm group and I can show you that there's his arm group right there. And I'm going to control V because I basically did control X and now a control V. I'm going to add it. I'm going to take it and add it to the hand. But before I add it to the hand, I want to put one more peg on that will be the master peg of the hand and the yarn. And then I'll just simply select that yarn, wherever it may be. I'm going to move it up into the hand. Now it doesn't really look like it's in the hand yet because I, I, I need this thumb to be on top of the yarn. And now we have something. And you notice what I did is I just moved the composite port of the thumb higher up on the full arm comp. And that's the further to the left something is, the more ahead it is and closer to us. Okay, in our next video, we're going to start um, planning out our posing.